something to eat today? Not today. What would you like for your drink? Sure. Could I have a grande iced chai tea latte? The grande iced chai tea latte? Anything else to it? Yeah. Can I have two um, shots of espresso? Okay. Um, two pumps of toffee nut mm -hmm. and vanilla cold foam, please. Nope. That'll be all. 1095. I'll see you at the window. Thank you. Yep. Thanks. You need a straw? No, I'm good. Thank you so okay. much. You too. You. Hey, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. I am Janelle. If you are new and if you're not new, hey, sis. Welcome back. Today is Friday. It is um, about 10 minutes to 9 and i just arrived to the hair salon my appointment isn't until 9 30 but um i didn't want to go back home after i had dropped my son off to school so i basically just headed down grabbed a coffee and we are here so excuse me for looking rather crusty like i i know i know um but we are about to go in and get our hair done it should be a pretty fun filled day for the most part um but first things first we got to get this wig together baby because underneath this hat that's the true nightmare that's a true nightmare so nevertheless let's head into the salon and get our hair done today is saturday and i just pulled up i have a nail appointment at 12 30 um i got here probably like 20 minutes early so i've just been sitting in my car but i'm about to get ready to head inside um i actually have a manicure and a pedicure appointment here so they're going to do my pedicure first and then we will start on the manicure and then after this appointment i will be booking it over to uh, my lash tech studio to get my lashes done i had said before that I want to make every effort to not allow all of my lashes to fall out before I get a refill because at this point it's not even a refill it is a full set that needs to go on um so yeah while I'm there I'm gonna be sure to make my two-week refill appointment because as you all know time just tends to get away from us all and before you know it it's two weeks it's been three weeks it's been a whole month and so that's pretty much where i am now so very excited to get my lashes back and feel much more like myself but anyway let's go ahead and head inside for this nail appointment three hours later where do i begin um okay so when i go in the nail tech that does my nails has um only ever done my nails like i've never had my nails done by anyone else in the salon um she was finishing up someone's pedicure and she basically admitted that um she kind of like double booked the appointment so she was like um can, are you okay with so and so doing both your mani and your petty you know i was a little apprehensive but i was just like okay so she ends up starting on my nails first the person that was go now going to be doing my services today wanted to start on my nails first the way that my nails were when i arrived today i just wanted them to be done exactly as i came in today which was like a very sheer nudie pink base and a thin white tip <laughs> so we first got off track because the base that she started to apply was definitely more pink and i'm gonna show you guys my nails in a second um it was definitely more pink in tone not so much not like a sheer pink but it it was a rather for me anyway, a more pigmented pink, which I don't like that as a base for French, for myself personally. I see the hard gel applied to the first nail and I'm already starting to have bad feelings about it. So nevertheless, she keeps going. So I'm like, you know, maybe after like, I put my hand in the dryer and it comes out, like maybe it's just cause like the gel is still wet. That's why it looks so pigmented. 
when I take my hand out, I see that like, nope, the way that it went into the dryer is the way that it came out. So at first, and I probably should have went with my initial thought, I was like, I'm not even gonna have her to do the French tip because of how pigmented um, the pink is coming through. Like, I don't think the French tip is going to look good applied over this. You know, she does my other hand and then she starts to apply the white tip and I should have stopped her. That was my bad. Like, I should have stopped her. At this point, I'm kind of like, you're, you're probably gonna have to eat this. Like, this is not to bash this nail tech, this is certainly not to bash my nail salon. Like, I love where I go. Like, I love it. I love it. I just love the work of the nail tech that typically does my nails. Like, she is a perfectionist. Like, from afar, it doesn't look bad. And so even when I hold my hands up for you guys in a second, it probably will not look that bad. But close up, mm-mm, mm-mm. You see, like how it's not smooth. Um, the thumb, like why is it cutting off like this right here? I'm gonna just rock out with this. Like I said, it's not that bad from a distance. I still have like a good like hour and 20 minutes before my lash appointment. So I'm actually gonna run to at home i want to look at a planter i just bought i gotta show you guys when i get home i just brought this um faux plant from home goods yesterday i had spotted it earlier in the week um left the store and i could not get that plant off my mind so i ended up going back on friday by the grace of god it was still there and it was positioned by the door too like by the um the checkout counter so i just knew somebody had swooped that up because it is so cute um, but it needs like a really nice planter and I want to like have some like moss around it and stuff like that. So I'm going to zip over to at home while I have some downtime um, prior to my lash appointment to see if they have any cute aesthetically pleasing planters um, that I could put that plant in. So let's hit the road and head over to at home. something speckled though i think i just want it to be pretty much all white maybe a little textured so let's see what else we can find this one isn't bad i think i want to go with that one right there this one that stone kind of effect but who is gonna get this down I need to see if I can find somebody to get it down for me all the cute ones are way at the top so let me see if I can get someone to help me she is so cute now it's 119 I feel like that is vastly overpriced for this thing to be plastic, but it is super cute. So let's go look for some moss. What y'all think about this one? It's kind of cute too. And it's only $70. I don't know. Let me put them side by side. And let me know down in the comments which one you guys like better. Okay, here they are side by side. This one comes off a little bit more white. While that one comes off a little bit more stony. And obviously has a lot more texture with the ribbon and stuff like that. But... I don't know. I like how this one has like a larger frame 
and this one's kind of more narrow I think this one will just like look prettier with the plant inside so I think I'm gonna go with that one but let me know down in the comments which one you guys think looks better that one back there is pretty cute too like not the vibe at all that I'm going for but I just think that is really cute the black ones are pretty cool too and I don't think we're ever gonna get it Okay, so we left out at at home. Um, I was able, as you guys saw, to pick up the planter and I was able to find some moss. Hopefully it's enough, but as I was looking at the opening on the planter, it's not very wide. Ooh, sorry, that's like choking me up. Um, it's not very wide, so I think that the amount of moss that came in the pack should be sufficient and then since i had a few extra minutes i just popped in at tj maxx just to see like what their bag selection was looking like and their jewelry selection because they be having some cute stuff and if you guys didn't know this is actually from tj maxx so i was just curious to see what little gems I could find. While I didn't find anything in terms of jewelry, they did have a few cute bags, which I did uh, insert some clips of. That green Bottega dupe, like it was almost like a dupe of the cassette bag, the um, Bottega cassette bag in green. That green is gorgeous, kind of like somewhere between like a Kelly green and a Hunter green, maybe forest green we could even call it that was super cute um i think that was 70 and then there was that gorgeous red hobo bag it felt so good the leather felt like really great quality and that one was 80. um i didn't get anything i didn't pick up anything at all i'm really 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 trying to consume more consciously and really like over the last several months I have purchased a lot of clothes and shoes and I feel like I have hit a little bit of a like inspirational slump as it relates to my wardrobe and picking out outfits and things like that um but it's like I know I have stuff but for whatever reason I'm just really having difficulty with finding the inspiration to like put the things on and put the things together and honestly I don't know if it has anything to do I was just saying the other day like I really need to get in the gym so I don't know if it has something to do with like how I'm feeling in terms of my appearance like how my clothes are fitting me or I'm not sure what it is but I'm definitely hitting a little bit of a slump and I know that retail therapy would be a temporary fix for that but I know that if I'm not going into shopping with a plan in terms of like what is it that my closet and my wardrobe like what is it lacking and it being intentional about finding those items to like make my wardrobe whole then I'm just gonna be buying this that and the third and still feel the same way at the end of the day where it's like I have all these pieces but none of it is really meshing together in the way that I would want so I say all that to say I didn't get anything as cute as those bags were and as great of accessories as they would be I didn't need it 
I don't need it right now anyway. I need to do a for real overhaul. Like I need to pull stuff out, see stuff that I've purchased and start from there. I think I also need to do a good spring declutter as well. Um, and just go through items that I'm no longer interested in that don't fit well or I just don't like anymore or whatever the case may be. Um, I need to do a real declutter and then take a look at what I have left and how I can work with what I have before trying to add more things to it. So anyway, it is time for me to hop on the road to get to my... Um, Lash Text Studio. Uh, she's only about 10 minutes away from here. So let's hop on the road so we can make that appointment. So today is Saturday and there is actually a food truck festival at a park nearby. And so when my friends asked if I wanted to go, so I just jumped in the shower, got dressed, and wanted to share my outfit of the day with you guys. So let's take a quick look. Okay, so it is super warm today. Um, I actually haven't been outside, but the temperature is showing 68 degrees. So I'm going with shoulders out, although I am going to bring a little bomber jacket with me. But anyway, I have on a like muscle tea. It's a notorious B.I.G. muscle tea that was actually gifted to me by a friend. Um, I have on some kind of like black but ashy or acid wash jeans from I think H&M. Um, really, really love these. They're super comfortable. Um, and because it is a food truck festival, like I want it to be not only comfortable because there's going to be a lot of walking around, but comfortable in the sense of I am planning to stuff my stomach. So <laughs> um, underneath this, I just have on a black Tom Ford um, sports bra. I have on my pandas. Uh, what do you call that? Ankle bracelet. Um, just a few rings from Amazon. And then I have my Lueve dupe also from Amazon. I was contemplating whether or not I wanted to throw some makeup on, but I really just didn't want to be bothered with like even a light face of makeup. So I didn't bother to do that. Um, I just filled in my eyebrows. So yeah, that's that. Let me go ahead and jump on the road. I am going to her house to meet her and then we're going to drive in one car together. So let's go. Honestly, I can't even find 